Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th, okay? Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may not be for you, all right? I just did the finish the segment for the next seven days. You can find that in the next seven days playlist if you want to check out your sign. Um, I just cut it to temperance reversed and the five of swords is on the bottom. So the five of swords is, I don't know, it could be a hostile situation. Um, this is conflict. Okay, we have some sort of conflict here. This is something is off. Temperance reversed, something is off. This is uh, unbalanced, disharmony. Um, there could be some sort of, definitely a conflict. Both of these cards are conflict. Could be a conflict of interest. This is competition of some sort, competing interests, okay? Um, we have somebody here that may be emotionally unstable. They're fighting, they're battling, they want to win, they're struggling. We definitely have somebody that is angry, perhaps. This is an angry energy, upset, frustrated. Um, pushing people away something is off something is off we could have some poor health here with temperance reverse there could definitely be some poor health definitely there's a need to manage feelings but it's not going well because there's anger there's anger involved I'm trying to straighten that camera Trying to straighten things out, huh? Anyhow, there's there's something that is unstable, okay? And there's anger. I know that this has something to do with anger because it's unable to master feelings. And the Five of Swords is upset, okay? This is, could be a fight, argument, conflict. Some sort of conflict. Somebody may be going overboard, okay? With that temperance reverse. They can't stop themselves, you know? going to extremes it could be extremely hostile just saying i mean that five of swords it could be an extreme conflict hmm. five of wands definitely we got some competition going on here some fighting some sparring you know we have a power struggle definitely with the fives struggling to uh, bring harmony to a situation there's definitely no harmony things are not easy there we have, a, we have a serious struggle here there's some sort of competition <laughs> ten of swords reversed so ten of swords reversed could be Things getting worse, okay? We may even have somebody here that has some chronic health problems. I'm not sure. This could be a relapse. This could be uh, things getting worse, worse to come, beyond help. You know, we may have somebody here that has some, some chronic problems. They're suffering. They're not getting any help or they're not accepting any help. This could also be the worst has happened. Something could happen. I'm not sure what is going on. Um, I'm not sure for some, I mean, hopefully it's not an overdose, but with temperance reversed, there could be an overdose. There's some sort of conflict here. Um, <clears throat> Ten of swords reversed. This is like breaking free from a painful situation. Somebody has been suffering. They have been. Six of Swords, moving on. This is going somewhere. It's, it's somebody is definitely moving on. They are going someplace. This is a rite of passage, passage, right? This is. This is a rite of passage. It's a transition. Somebody is transitioning. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of competition. There's been a lot of fighting. They are leaving with that five of swords as well there's some sort of 
walking away. It's leaving, leaving the conflict behind, leaving the fighting behind, just leaving. Somebody's leaving. They've, they've suffered long enough, whatever this situation is. There's bad behavior, negative behavior with temperance reversed, negative repetitive patterns. Somebody has been overdoing it. They're overdoing it. It's definitely inappropriate. There's some sort of inappropriate behavior here going to extremes. Something is off. Something is off. That Oh, now we get the Five of Swords on the bottom again. So this is a main energy right here. This is definitely defeated. Knight of Cups, that's the only one that came out upright where I could see it. And it is upright, came up face out, came out face up. Knight of Cups, so this is looking for love, looking for love. Somebody is looking for love. They're definitely in their feelings. They've been suffering. All they want is love. We got somebody here that has a big heart and all they want is love and they've been dealing with some challenges. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands taking action. We do have somebody here that is taking action. They're uh, very emotional at this time. They're acting on their emotions. Somebody's going to be acting on their emotions. They're going someplace. They are going someplace. They're going somewhere. It's over. Something is over. It's like they've reached the point of no return. This is like, it's over. It's completely over. They're sick of fighting. And the temperance should be sick of it. This is definitely... I don't know if there's an extreme fight or there's something that is happening that is extremely uh, unhealthy. Um, Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups, they're both together. So that is acting on feelings. We also have somebody here that is making a proposal to an individual. They're proposing something. We may also have somebody here that is giving somebody something, you know, there is somebody here that is receiving something. And, you know, I've been talking about this drink. Don't drink it. Don't take it. Don't take it. I feel like it could end badly. We got the Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Reverse, and the Queen of Wands. Okay? Somebody has something in this cup, but... I mean, there could be something also that's, you know, it's, it's, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's good. I really don't. Anyhow, Six of Swords, moving on, going to a better place. We do have somebody here that is going somewhere. They're taking action. They're driving somewhere. They're going somewhere. They're, they're all done. Because we go from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. They're all done fighting. They're all done with the competition. They're all done with the hostilities. It's like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So somebody is going in a different direction. They're going somewhere. Ooh, Four of Cups. Now this is discontent. We have somebody here that is looking for something more. They're not interested in their current situation. They're not interested, or they're not interested in, or, they, or they've been missing an opportunity, or ignoring an opportunity. We have somebody here that is very distant. They're feeling very, very alone. They have been ignoring an opportunity for love. They've been focusing on something from the past. Angry and upset, moping, holding a grudge. I feel like we have somebody here that's been 
holding a grudge. They've been focusing on something from the past, unable to let it go, missing an opportunity. Stubborn. Magician reversed. Magician reversed. I feel like, I mean, the magician reversed is no success. Unwilling to shed the old. Unwilling to do anything. Unwilling to make any changes. This is somebody that doesn't believe. That doesn't believe in themselves. That is lacking their own awareness. You know, they're not very awakened. They're not very aware. This is somebody that has lost their power, you know, they've lo they've become powerless to themselves. It's like they've given up on themselves. I feel like we have somebody here that's given up on themselves. There's been no success, there's been no victory because this person has been unwilling to take any action. They've been unwilling to shed that to bring in the new, they've been will unwilling to change and evolve. So there's somebody here that has been, it's almost like fighting, they've been, they've been fighting with themselves. Because this is a self card, this is a self card. I feel like we have somebody here that is very, very unbalanced, very, with temperance and magician reversed. This is somebody that is unbalanced. They're suffering. They're in a lot of pain. We got somebody here that is really, 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 really suffering. They're, it's like they're refusing to take a new approach. It's like they want to take a new approach, but they're refusing to take a new approach. Somebody has been ignoring what their heart wants, focusing on some emotional loss. It's like there's a, there's a big, huge opportunity here for love, but it's been ignored. Therefore, there's there's no success with the magician reversed somebody's not getting what they want they may have abused their power maybe may even have a master manipulator here a trickster a liar you know somebody that is violent even with the magician reversed this is somebody that is a, that is very very tricky um this is a tricky trickster so we do have a trickster here it could be a pathological liar some but i feel like we have somebody here that's been lying to themselves honestly you know, really, this is somebody that's, and to other people as well. Somebody's going to be approached. Okay, somebody's going to be approached. I feel like they're going to be approached by another person who is who is very intuitive that is suspecting something. Somebody may be suspecting something. They may be getting caught. There could be a fight, a battle. Somebody could be talking about, you know, they could be talking about all the games that have been played. No power, loss of power, loss of power. Somebody's, they, and they've, but the thing is, is they've abused their power. They've lied, they've lied. Somebody, I feel like there's lies that, you know, has caused somebody to suffer. Okay, somebody is suffering from the lies that they have told. It's like consequences, right? Action, taking action. We have somebody here that is really struggling. They're really struggling with what their heart wants. I feel like there's another woman here for some of you, some or some or the situation. We may have somebody here that is approaching another woman. There's already, you know, the five of five of swords, there's two people involved, you know. And I do see a third party situation here. I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, is in something that they don't want to be in. They want to leave, but they haven't been able to. Knight of Cups approaching that queen of wands which is typically another woman it is the third party 
There is a third party here. Now, the Ten of Swords reversed is like... And I feel like we have somebody here that's lying. I feel like there's somebody's being approached, you know, they're maybe even being questioned or something. Where are you going? Where have you been? You know, that kind of thing. Magician reversed. Abuse of power. Somebody is, is, has abused or something. There is abuse. With the Five of Swords, we had it twice. There is some sort of abuse here. Somebody is trying to take control. They're abusing their power. If somebody offers you a drink, I am telling you right now, do not take it. Okay? And I saw it way before that in the Knight of Cups card as well. Because this is deceptive. This is deception. Magic, you know, somebody who thinks they're all powerful one and they're, you know, they're trying to get rid of somebody. So I'm just saying, be careful. Be very, very, very careful. There is some sort of master manipulator here who has some tricks up their sleeve. This is somebody who is trying to, is going overboard. It's like they're mixing up something. It's like a deadly cocktail, okay? And I hate to give that message. Do not drink it. Whether it's a shot, okay? It could be people that shoot up. I don't know. Deadly cocktail. And if you take the word cocktail and split that apart, that's a whole nother meaning. Okay, it can mean so many things. This is not a good situation. It is not. Because that Ten of Swords, this could be may or may not survive in reverse. May or may not survive. And this is like you made your bed, now you need to lie on it. We have somebody who thinks that they're all the old powerful one. And this is abuse of power. It's manipulation. This is somebody who's trying to take the power. They're trying to take the control into their own hands. Hmm. We got somebody here that... Um, is not having any success. They're not having any success. It's like they want something else. I can see that they want something else. They want something that they're not getting. They may want freedom. I mean, the Ten of Swords reverse is freedom. It's liberation from suffering. It's like, I just, I don't want to suffer anymore. I don't want to suffer anymore. Seven of Cups reverse, seeing very clearly what the best choice is, becoming clear of a choice. Somebody is making a big decision. This is the card of consequences. Choose wisely because what you choose, you know, what you own owns you. I say it all the time. This is a card of consequences. Be careful with your choices. You notice the cups. I feel like we have somebody here that definitely could be going overboard. They could be going overboard. This is too much. Three of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed. This is uh, lack of friends. Enemies disguised as friends. Ganging up. There could be three women here or a third party situation that are ganging up. This is gossip, talking. Or this is a separation or a parting ways from friends or family. Dashed expectations. Not happy. The party is over. The party is over. Something is happening. It is not good. You know, I feel like we have somebody or a group of people that are, are doing something. They're doing something. And I feel like it's malicious with that magician reversed. I 
I feel like we also, and it, and it may not be a group, it could be one person that is taking action. This person is doing something very sneaky, very sly. Uh, this person is wanting the, to take, be in control. They want power. They want, they, this person needs an ego boost. They need a power boost. So they're, it's like they're, they're mixing up something that is not healthy. This is definitely not healthy. Three of Cups reverse, parting ways, parting ways from friends or family, termination, making a judgment call. Somebody is making a decision to part ways. They're going somewhere else. And I feel like, I feel like something happens it's the straw that breaks the camel's back you know that causes this retreat causes this transition i also feel like you know there's extreme somebody may be self-medicating because of a betrayal because of a fight because of an argument because of a loss and they go overboard i mean the only reason people do drugs is to self-medicate because of pain And it doesn't have to be drugs or whatever. But I, I feel like we have some sort of bad mix. I don't feel like it's a good mix. Whether it, whatever it is, whether it's between two people or it's drugs or it's alcohol, we have a bad mix here. Oh! I guess maybe we do. Devil, we talked about this yesterday. This is addictions. This is you need to break free or things are going to get worse. This is a deep, dark place. This could be death. It, I'm just being honest. Death due to addictions. <coughs> death, death due to lust. Infatuation, obsession, and it not turning out. Not being able to break free from something. You have the mentality. You can break free. It's all mind over matter. Excuse me. There's some sort of self-indulgence here. There is self-indulgence. Somebody is tied to a situation and it feels like they're feeding it. Instant gratification. This is definitely some sort of instant gratification. Somebody is getting some sort of instant gratification. They're in a deep, 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 dark place. Tempted. Very, 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 very tempted. We could even have criminal behavior. I think I already said that with the cocktail. You know, the magician reverses criminal behavior. Can be. not happy we have somebody here that is really 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 not happy they're not happy and they're doing something it's like they're going somewhere they've come up with some plan it's it and it's not a good plan okay it's it's not a good plan it's not a good plan it's not Justice. I was clarifying that Four of Cups. This is def definitely, I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to take things into their own hands. There's some sort of karma here. There's some sort of truth that is coming out. I feel like somebody is, is definitely dealing with some consequences. They may be facing some legal issues. You know, and that's why they're acting the way that they're acting or they're going to be facing some upcoming legal issues. Okay, they could be facing some in the future. Somebody could end up in court. They may be dealing with some court battles that are overwhelming them. They're overanalyzing. They're, and, you know, they're now they're having to be held accountable for their actions of the past. And, you know, they can't take it anymore. I mean, justice is legalities, it is 
uh, karma, it's truth, you can't get away with lies, okay? You can't get away with it. So I feel like we have somebody here that definitely has been lying with the magician reversed. Truth is being revealed or it has been revealed. So it's causing this person to react because it's like they're getting caught in their lies. So they're reacting in a negative manner. That's what happens when people be held accountable for the shit that they did. It's like, oh my God, you know, then they start to freak. Moving to a better place, moving on, moving on, going somewhere. There's some, there could be a court order. There could be news of legalities. We have somebody here that may have missed something. You know, they missed something. Now they see it very clearly. We did have, we, they see the truth. The truth has definitely been revealed or it's being revealed. It may have been missed in the past, but here it is. There's been lies. There's been decep deception. There's been hostilities. I mean, with that five of swords, that's, that could also be cr crime. There's criminal. There's somebody here that is, has broken the law. Or they've done something criminal and it's like, now what do I do? I want to win at all costs. I got to take them down. We got somebody here that has no moral conscience. They have no moral conscience whatsoever. And they're going to be acting on their feelings. They're going to be acting on their feelings because of the competition, because they thrive on competition. And they don't like to lose. Somebody is also losing support. They're losing support from people, maybe on social media or from friends or family. They're losing respect. They're losing support because of their behavior, because of their lies, because of their deception. They're losing support and they're really, really angry and upset. Seven of Cups again. Seven of Cups. Now there's some sort of confusion, options, choices. Somebody is exploring their options right now and they're about to make a big decision that is life changing. There is a life changing decision here. There is. Right now they're thinking about it. They're thinking about everything that has happened. They're thinking about all the lies. They're thinking about themselves. They're thinking about what, what they've done. I feel like there's some sort of embarrassment here. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, which is a higher power, right? This is a direct connection to God. So I do believe that we have a higher power involved here. Guided. Somebody is being guided. They're being guided. Their gut is telling them to do something. This may have something to do with commitment. We could have a, you know, this could end up have something to do with a church. God. Seeing very clearly, somebody has been confused about the truth, but the truth has been revealed, and now everybody sees the truth, and I think it's embarrassing. Everything happens for a reason. There's a higher power involved that is bringing out the truth that is realigning the whole situation. It's time to go, it's time to move on. That's why all this torment happened because it's about being honest, it's about being upfront, it's about doing the right thing. And if you have to live a lie, then that's not the life you're supposed to live. So if they have to cause turmoil to get you there, then so be it, it happens to be 444. Angel protection, universal guidance. Pay attention to the signs. Good luck.